one second. Show off like no, that goes okay. <sighs> All right, there we are. So, um, so I want to correct something I said last time. I because I didn't. I just you know dug up that video, the Wolfire animation video, um, and, and didn't actually read it. And it had been a while since I looked at. It. So that was actually somebody commented about this. That's not what they're doing in Overgrowth. That's what they did in the previous game, Luguru Two. And it, I'm not even sure he did that for the shipping game. That was his. It said it was for the demo of that. So, uh, whoever it was, you're correct. That's not what they're doing in Overgrowth. I did talk about the fact that there's the keyframe-based stuff, but I was thinking it was an evolution of this, and it's not really. It was sort of like start over and figure out a different way to do a kind of similar thing. The thing is, since most of what I've been doing here has been working on the foot placement for the IK, that's all kind of independent of how the rest of the procedural system works, and so and that's sort of what I think about mostly. Um, and, but it's true that the rest of the procedural system is very different. <clears throat> so, um, and I talked about it at the end of last time that um, we're drawing, we're not drawing the legs. I, I was figuring I would get all the feet working and then go to the, do the legs. But it might be the case that it's better to show the legs so you guys know where it's going because I did get somebody who was like, you know, oh, you could do IK, and it's like, this is for doing IK. I just haven't gotten to the IK part of it yet. Um, there's two things I'd like to clean up. One is that the left foot is called right, and that the right foot is called left. I should probably fix that. I don't know why those coordinate systems came up backwards, uh, unless it's just that I... I guess it was because... Yeah, I don't remember how that happened. Um, the other thing is I'm looking at this as if this was a torso and it's actually going all the way up to the top of the head. So maybe we need to make the guy bigger so that that, because I've kind of spaced things out for that to make sense. So you look how tall this guy is. He should be, his head should be up on that third row, uh, fourth row rather, rather than say this is three high over here. Right, that's three high. So his head sticks up into the fourth row, whereas Minecraft scale, they're three high. And I think I have this, right, the actual, if you don't think of that as the torso, if you think of the top of that as the top of the head, then it does, in fact, stick halfway up into the third row. But if you think of it as a torso, there'd be a head sticking up into the fourth row. So I should probably make it be that tall. Because like, as I said before, we don't need to work at Minecraft scale. Um, and so then the other thing is this whole, yeah, the dropping foot placement. I think when that happens, the whole torso needs to come down. I, I the torso needs to tilt some, but I think it also needs to come down. This is a bit different from the Wolfire thing because the whole world is so discontinuous. There are no slope. Well, there are slopes, but they're not in the physics yet, so they don't do anything. Um, 
but everything has these block discontinuities. And so the foot placement is very, uh, very more important. Like on, on smoothly changing slope terrain, it matters because if you don't account for the slopes, it's totally wrong. But you can kind of use a local approximation of the current ground. Uh, I don't know if that's what he did or if he actually, I guess he did, does detect real foot placements in, in the long run, or at least in the new stuff, because it can like run on walls and stuff using the IKs. So it's, it's a much more precise IK. Uh, another thing is that I did this whole thing of putting a little box around the foot to decide where the foot should go which results in the foot placement like that, where it is just, just touching the back of the heel and it can be the just touching the front of the toe like that. Um, and that's actually not very good. I mean, you can do that when running. You can land on your toes and use your toes, but you can't stand still on that. You have to put your, well, you can, but it's really awkward. You really prefer to put your foot, your weight on your foot. And I'm thinking if I just, I mean, on your, um, not your ankle on the whatever you call it the ball of your foot the the part that's right below the leg yeah, that's just better for balance and so I'm thinking I should probably actually just change it to point sample whether you can stand in a spot and make the point be in that position and that would probably be better since it's allowed to shift the positioning of it it would cause the, f the feet to shift better so I should probably do that and uh, and then that opens up the possibility of of doing that search much more efficiently. Currently, I just do this big search over possible positions without regards to where the blocks actually land. But I only actually need to sample a little region of four of two by two uh, on the horizontal plane uh, and can compute directly from that where the foot should go rather than try to sample all these different positions and see which one is closest to the goal. So that's something I can do. But like I said, I think the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and add the legs so that people have some kind of idea of where it's heading and so that we can start to see that the leg is stretching and stuff. Yes, and obviously you don't shuffle your feet while standing still. That's just like uh, just a whole, I have to add a whole state machine -y kind of thing that stops the animation when you're stopped. And, and do something to slow down the animation speed. I, I want to add a walking versus running and have those use different um, feet timing. So there's different gates. And then it solves where to place the feet based on the gate. So what are all those things I just said? Treat foot as point for sampling better foot placement or foot search without searching foot, foot placement search um, standing still walking running states with different gates um, what else did I say uh, there was definitely at least one or two more. Um, only ten watchers, ten viewers. Wow, crazy low. Um, gosh, what did I say? Um, oh God, lower and tilt. Or so, all right, and ten um, uh, uh, head above torso increased player size to match. Uh, the thing I didn't talk about is that there's um, uh, this thing that I keep getting broken by, which is that the position of objects is their eye position instead of their feet position. And I always use feet position. And so when it's not feet position, I keep having bugs because I forget that. So move position of objects to be on ground, feet, um, meaning the coordinate that's stored for the object, the origin of the object in its local space uh, should be at the feet. Um, when one foot is much lower, 
um, a B many gates many stances yeah okay. gates well they're not really gates many torso adjustable torso position uh, I'm at three um, and this not all these are to do's right away but as long as I'm thinking about this I might as well stick in all the related things I can think of um, was there anything else I think there might have been one more You said rename left and right in the code. That's right. There were I had said there were two um, bad things in the code. Uh, what I was and I only explained the first one, which was the left and right foot, and then the second was this problem of the origin of the object not being in the right place. <coughs> so these two are um, just. Uh, um, missed designs in the code basically and so I'd like to fix them before moving on to other stuff and then I think I'll do the IK um, just because uh, so you guys can see what's going on the actual hard part of that I mean it will be tedious to do the math but I can copy that from somewhere the hard part is actually going to figure out how to render the legs um, but we'll come back to that all right, so let's do the left foot, right foot naming. Um, so we basically want to rename all the lefts and the rights in here, I believe. Um, okay, let's, am I correct about that? So which one is green? The green is the right foot, and we're seeing it on the left, right? Oh, God, right. I said the word right. Green is on the left, okay. And here's green, and it thinks it's on the right. So we go through all of this, where all this stuff is computed. Sure, here. And here's what we do. We rename left to x, y, z, z, y. We rename right to left. And we rename x, y, z, z, y to right. Now the left foot is green try running it so the thing I just did is of course your standard how to swap two variables you need a temp and you copy one of them into the temp and then do the other thing and so I just did that with renames XYZZY was my temp so yeah this looks like I did not break anything there so that's done Seems to me you should fix the height skeleton overall first. Um, I'm not sure if you mean that or you mean head above torso increase player size to match or you mean both of those sort of, which is probably valid. As long as I'm messing with the one, I might as well mess with the other. Although, of course, you should also always do each thing one at a time, not mess with two things at the same time and then not know which thing you broke. <coughs> so... Uh, so the first thing let's do is the first half of that move the position to be on the ground so the first part of that is to just change the size for type so that the bottom is 0 below and the top is 2.5 above and then we'll do that for each of these as well Zero, although I have no way to create them anymore, so I won't be able to test that stuff. Um, they don't really need Fs. I don't remember if it's legal to have them have Fs without a dot or not. So, And then this should be the same as that. Okay, so now their heights are adjusted, and it's possible that everything just works automatically except that the eye position will be at the wrong height now because everything was being 
queued off of that. All the physics and everything was computed directly from that box that's, that was asy intentionally allowed it to be asymmetric. So yeah, I think that works. I just need to fix the eye height. And um, um, it's actually the type def we type properties. So we have, should it always be symmetric on X and Y? I think it should. X size, Y size, Z height. And it should always be zero for the thing. So we can shrink this down to only have three things and then we'll have fourth property float i um, i is the offset well I actually have that be an offset from the top instead of the bottom for various reasons so then we have type properties um, properties for type leave that positive. Okay, I think that was what the old state was. Um, I don't need the I offset for anything other than the player, but you know, maybe you make a game where you can possess creatures or something, so we'll just have that information available for everything. Now let's just leave it at zero to indicate I haven't done it. Uh, this one's 0 0.30, 0 0.30. There's a none at the beginning. But not the O type. And then critter is the same as player for now. In the header file, size for type. Um, does that seem reasonable? Okay, and then we have to fix everywhere that used the old thing. So Properties for type is going to be really tedious to say. I guess we can leave that to data if I'm going to make it that short. So let's go through these one by one. Type prop, O type, the min, the x. Type prop, type prop. Oh, I have to fix that in the header too. Uh, let's leave these pre-divided after all. In fact, if we 
never rotate when we sample these are always going to be identical to let's not let's not break that in but it doesn't mean it will have to some of this code will be wrong um, so these are half sizes now and I don't need this declaration in both places that needs to be negated because we said it was a, it was the min so that one needs to be negated as well and the min is always zero then this one is plus this one is plus and this one is height to z which is really just height Okay, let's find the next one. Um, type properties, type. Yeah, here I did what I ought to be doing most of the time. Is this going to be? Oh, it's for the rendering. So it passes in, currently so it passes in a centered position. Um, so we could actually just pass in. Mm, well, well, I won't change it. I don't want to break things by changing it. So two times p arrow half size x, two times p arrow half size y, p arrow height. Now it's already centered, and smooth z for rendering takes edge position, and that then adds half the size. No, adds, that's to find the center. Yeah, so it is still just p arrow height over two. Now we probably should change that to pass in the foot position, but I'll do that as a separate step. And that is the top. Is that supposed to be the eye height? No, because that's somewhere else. It's just passing in the top for some reason, even though it's redundant to this. Oh, no, it's passing in the bottom. I misread that code.
That's the bottom. That's the bottom. This is the that's the part where the code is cleaner if it's the bottom. Uh, this can no longer pass in such a type. Um, Um, well, let's just go ahead and pass in the properties. The thing I'm thinking about is that there's multiple functions like this, and if they all take this property, it's, it's going to be a bunch of things to change. Uh, so we got to change walkable. Yeah, they all take this. TP, not P. <clears throat> I'll just do this for now. Oops. Try to propagate this into all this code. We'll just compute it, compute the old thing from the new thing. Oops. Wow, that was nice. do that in the other functions which I might be above or below don't remember I guess it's I guess it's below um, them size what's the bug oh yeah this has to pass TP on through this has to pass TP on through we don't actually need it size in this one. Different from declaration. Walkable. Posville DT type properties. Posville. What happened to DT? Did I delete it accidentally? Size for type. The uses of size are here. Uh, 
I think this is old code. Oh, I know what this is for. No, okay. It's still kind of a hack, but not sure how to do it better. And that's the ground position. I guess we could just pass in the type instead of the type properties. works. I'm of course not testing the AIs and all that other stuff. Is that code still in there? They are not pathfinding to me. There they go. I was standing in a bad spot. Good. Move object or two feet. Property. This property is for future expansion. All right. And then we want to change the player height to have the torso. Um, and still be taller, so let's go into um, let's see, main window player. Um, let's call this render biped. Although it's all still using global variables, so we can't uh, actually hook it up to the to the AIs yet. Um, let's take a type properties. the size anywhere else. Nope. So we can take out the size computation and move it up here. Minus one point four. What was that for? Oh, I didn't haven't hooked up the camera height thing yet. Did I break that? Yeah, there's TP in here somewhere. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the camera height. Still down at the feet. So third person. Cam lock. Where does cam lock up? Ah, oh, here it is. Um, plus. And then in first person, it wants to actually use plus. Um, type prop. ID dot height minus type prop or type oops I misspelled player dot surprise that auto completed anyway that all right and 
and that shouldn't be hard to get to the player for that same reason I was just talking about. Um, so yeah, I moved the third person camera to not be dependent on eye height just because, hey, it's a third person camera. It could just be something. I guess it could be still based on the height of the object. Uh, we'll just go ahead and park at that still for a second. Uh, but then let's just add a little bit and move it above the player instead of alongside the player. Legal for struct. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Um, we're in third person. on that crap on my screen there. work to do here. I guess I don't want the camera that high. It's too hard to see the feet. And now I've lost too much speed. Oh, and I missed the jump. Shoot. Yeah, and if you're in mid-air, you can't lower your torso, so I'll have to do that. I don't think there's really mid-air logic currently. Um, um, where was that list? It's in main. Here it is. And you can't lower torso when in mid-air. Okay, so uh, move the position of objects to be on ground feet. Head above torso, increase player size to match. Okay, so um, world.c, probably should go in object.c. And so let's make the player taller. Let's see what that does. Yeah, I need to move the camera back down. I was wrong. All right, so now there's room for but now that includes the, the head. I'm not actually gonna make it separate yet. I'll come back to that. Oh no, I can't fit under there anymore. That looks kind of nice, the, the tilt running out when you run into the thing. All right. Oh, and I still have to do tilting around corners or uh, sideways tilting around corners. Sideways tilt around corners. Okay. 
So I'm not actually going to do a head. I'm just going to do that. Twelve draw separate head. Um. So, um, IK likes to feed. So, when we get to here, we have the feed. Where do we draw the body? It's right here. Let's go ahead and move, join the body down here. And now we can start to see that these are all part of a pattern and we can modularize it. So what do we want to do? We need to know where the bottom of the torso is. We need to know where the feet are and we need to draw a connection. Um, so draw a cylinder from two and it's going to draw from Mm, the bottom of the thing is determined by that. So we need, um, which is ob space to world space. So we need to make a new version of ob space to world space. So void rotate. Well, rotate vector back output back back input float mark x float rotate y float rotate z and there's a way to do this directly where you have uh, a big matrix, but I don't think I put that in my vector library. Rotation around axis, rotation around vec, but yeah, we don't have a we don't have one for the whole thing. Um, so there's no reason to directly construct the matrix. It's not going to be any more efficient, I don't think, uh, than just applying the three rotations in sequence. But we do have these, so I don't need to write them out the way I have in the old code because I wrote this code before I added the vector library. So I can do that here. <clears throat> now what's the ordering? Z then X then Y. Z then X then Y. Z and x and y. Okay, so temp one, temp two, vec rotate. Actually, does this library do the right thing? Vec rotate. Mat three vec mall. Calls flip three three vec mall. Yes, it does the right thing. So you can pass in the same vector and it avoids screwing things up. So I don't need any attempts. So you can just say um, output input mark z Oh, 
Well, that's a lot easier than I expected it to be. Forgot I had added the vector library. Yes, I use a compatibility context so I can still do this stuff because I think it's dumb that they got rid of the matrix stuff because you still need it. You have to add a separate library to do it. Um, and for those who are wondering about this particular ordering of the things, um, I use Y as the forward direction rather than X for some reason. Um, I think because if you use a right-handed coordinate system, Z is up, of course, and um, uh, if you use Y forward, just I can't get a good angle for you to see like that. Uh, y forward, that says Y, X, Y, Z. Uh, if Y is forward, then X points to the right, so the positive direction makes sense. If you point along X, then Y points to the left. Uh, positive Y points to the left, which I think is too confusing. So I use looking down Y. Z is up. And so the rotation order, because these are Euler angle rotations, rotation at order of Z, X, Y is um, yaw, pitch, bank, um, which is the order that you want. You want your yaw to always be measured in world space. So as you yaw, um, you know, as you turn your orientation, that should just always be in the plane. And then bank should always be last because you're pivoting around the camera. Um, regardless of how you're oriented, you're always pivoting around the camera. <clears throat> so that's I always use that convention for Euler angles. Um, and we will maybe have freeform uh, coordinates for the knee positions. I don't remember how that math works. We'll we'll see in a second. So let's put that in the header. Oops. All right. And then go back to main here. Okay. So we want to know. Um. Let's say the half of the size. So. Uh, vec, what do you call the where the joint of the leg and the and the torso is? Naming. Um, So left leg top, do we have TP in this? Yep, okay. It's TP arrow, size X, over 2.0, leg top dot Y equals zero. So this is in object space, I'm trying to do this. Um, where did I decide how tall the torso is? That needs to be in the type properties. Well, it needs to be in the biped properties, which probably shouldn't really be in type properties. But um, right, we actually probably want. I was probably wrong to put this into the size thing because we probably want a thing that's limited for just creature types, and we don't bother having it for everything else. So we have an IZ offset. We have a torso the offset from bottom to bottom of torso. Feet, let's say. Torso Z offset. Okay. So we go into object. Well, wait, let's check where it is in the code. It's right here. 1.4. We subtract off 1.4 of the height. So um, all 
right. TKRL. Oh, that's not all completing anymore. Did I screw something up? I don't think so. So, let's see. The offset. Call it height. Offset will mean it's an offset from the top. Height will mean it's a height from the bottom. Uh, but it's the base. All right. There it goes. So I'm completing. Except it was all completing with a misspelled thing. Okay, so left leg top dot z equals tp barrel torso base height. All right, and then we rotate it. Was that what I called it? Rotate vector. Left leg top. X A dot Y A dot Z. But we actually want to rotate that around the center. So we need to measure these coordinates relative to the center. So the center is Haas dot Z. But that's in world space. Pause.z is in world space, right? Yeah. So we just want center z offset. So that needs to be relative to the center. It should have been the center z height, not center z offset, maybe. I don't know. Uh, left leg top z plus equal center z offset. Is that in the wrong direction? It needs to be lower. This is 0 0.5 and this is 1.0. It must be negative. So it was right the first time. All right, and then, well, we can't move it up. All right, back add. Left, left, right, top position. Okay, so now all of that was to compute, we draw this box and I want a point on that box in, and the point is we're, we are here relying on the GL matrices and stuff to do it. So I have to resynthesize that same math by hand, at which point I could get rid of the matrix stuff and do it by hand as well everywhere. But So then we're going to draw the cylinder from left leg top to left foot. And how wide is the cylinder? We'll just do that. Okay, how do we draw a cylinder? And it's not re a real cylinder. It's uh, really wants to be a box cylinder. Vec A, Vec B, float radius.
Um, so we want to draw a box oriented from A to B, basically. So we want a, per a perpendicular to A to B. So back. So we get a vector from A to B, and let's have the vector horizontal. This will fail. Oops. Cross, and this will be part one. Let's just call it by a subtype name. Um, And that's the cross product of axis and x. And then we take a cross of axis and local y. And we normalize that. Okay, so now we have three axes. This one is not normalized, or this one is not normalized. But these are. All right, so now if we wanted to use the existing drawbox code, we'd have to rotate into that coordinate space. So I am just going to explicitly compute things instead. Uh, static void draw. Uh, Vertex box vertex vec it's vec x vec y float oh, vec a float um, tx ty tz. Let's make this s. Scale, not size. Although size it kind of is true as well. And then box vertex, vec temp, vec point, vec. Let's assign that to A. And then we add vec add equals scale. Um, so we add to point, and we add x times sx. And then we add y times sy, and we add z times sc. That's not called z, it's called axis. Then gl vector 3fv. And this is vec add equal. Okay. So then we call that box vertex. Um, actually, let's go ahead and keep just compute it. Plural sky singular. So we take axis, local x, local y, and then negative one, oh, sorry, zero. No, wait, these are in x, y, z order. Let's put these in the same order. Let's put this at the beginning. Okay. X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. So the box vertex takes A, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. And let's 
let's uh, not do it in the loop order. Let's do it in binary order. Okay, so now I've got all the vertices. I have to draw them. Um, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get the winding correct on all these. Um, so let's do this to start. Top face, this is the bottom face, four, five, seven, six. But the winding should be reversed, so we need to reverse the winding, which we do by swapping pairs. Um, then we have to do all the sides. Well, I just won't worry about getting the winding correct. Add four to each of those, and then the opposite side. Um, no, that would be the same side. Um, the opposite side adds two, two, three. pairs, all right, on the last pair of sides, um, I am actually trying to get the winding correct, it turns out, I'm trying to be consistent about reversing each edge, okay, and then these have to be offset by two, wait, the others were offset by two, is this right? Am I missing a set? Wait, what was this? Seven. No, I'm supposed to be offsetting by two. Wait. No, I'm supposed to be offsetting by four. Did I offset these by four? I did. Okay. Why did I say I was offsetting by two and then I offset by four? Very weird. Um, Once up three, oops, five, reverse. Oh, right, and then this one I offset by two. Right. Um, so that becomes. Should become zero two. This one should be zero two. I don't know. Maybe that offset by two wasn't right. Three, two, this one's backwards. Oh, that's not just to do that, but um zero two six four. All right. Maybe that's right. Okay, that's totally wrong. Yes, and it's also easier to prototype and experiment with stuff. I typically use it for UI and and, and such. But yeah, 
the compatibility. All right, so why is the size huge? That I don't know. We pass in 0.2f as a radius. We normalize these. We don't ever actually use, oh, we use negative one instead of size. This should be radius. I guess I was thinking I would do it this way. Vec scale equal local x radius. But the radius is still way too big. Think about it. 0.3 is way too big. That might still be too big, too. Okay. So it's the top part is in the wrong spot. As we can see when it sticks out. So I'm not computing the top position correctly. Not sure why it's rotating. But rotation seems to be following the foot rotation. Um, what well, shouldn't be rotating like that at all. Um, let's push it out to the side so I can see it. Yeah, it's like from the shoulder instead of, yeah, it's just totally bogus. What, where is that rotation coming from? The, the ang, this should not have anything like that in it because that's the rotation of the box. Is that coming from something else? Am I drawing the cylinder wrong and it's actually coming from the foot? No, it seems to be coming from that. Oh, this. No. We are using all three of those for that. Maybe that, oh, I didn't convert them from uh, radians, from degrees to radians. Why do I always do that? Still in the wrong spot, but it's at least consistent now. Okay, so it's above the base instead of below it, which is this whole center Z offset thing I was trying to deal with. Offset minus that. No, that'll be positive. 2.0 is 1.0. 1.0 minus 2. No, it needs to be a minus. Oh, but center Z offset is larger. That's probably. No, it shouldn't be torso of oh, torso base height. Yeah, okay. It's not quite at the bottom, so it's still not some something's still wrong in the logic, but at least that's consistent. And the winding is not correct on some of the faces, including the top face. I thought I disabled. Didn't I disable calling face, calling the faces? 
So maybe I just have some of these wrong. Do I have the same ones in here more than once? No, doesn't look like it. Seems like that's all the combinations, correct? Disable call face. Why are none of those colored? Oh, because it's the lighting. Oh, you can't change the... You have to use color material to do that. Geolighting. Green is in there, but it's a little wrong. Cyan is a little suspicious. Blue looks like it's mixed. Yeah, blue has mixed the... Uh, red is correct, but blue and green are both wrong. Red is correct, 0264, but blue and green are wrong. Two, three, seven, six. That should be correct. Oh, no. Yeah. All right, there's a zero. There's a two and a three are adjacent here. That seems right to me. Did I screw this up? Yep, I screwed this up. No, I didn't. It's consistent. Negative. Both negative, right, left. Both negative, right, left. Oh, this one's wrong. Okay. Okay, that looks good. So that was just that. All right, so let's turn the lighting back on. Oh, I didn't set the normals yet. Um, the normal needs to get rotated. Oh, I have these normals. Uh, what happens if you use a non-normalized normal? I think I have to normalize it. So this one... This one, which one is this? Zero one four five. Zero one four five. Is that and that? So this one is held constant, which is y. So it's the y normal. So this must be the x normal. And then vec. Mold scale loop. Local x negative one. Local y negative one. Local z negative one. Um, and I don't know which. Oh, it's not normal FV. Oh, right. We looked at this. No, that was translate. Does normal have a. Yeah, okay. It's normal 3 FV. I'm not sure why it's. Can you, you can't have a 4. Well, I guess you can have a 2 normal. Uh, 
All right, so some of those are going to be backwards. All of them are going to be backwards? No, nope, it's just not even, there's no brightness anywhere. So maybe there's something wrong there. X, Y, and Z, I don't know how that would be wrong. Some side of that should be bright. I don't know why that's not. Why would no, no side of that be bright? Hmm. What am I not thinking of? We've used all, we know these vectors are correct because we, oh, I forgot, I scaled them here. Let's undo that scaling. Not an efficient way to do this at all, but whatever. Okay, there we go. So now, yep, the sides are not really correct. So let's try flipping them around. So we just want to swap which one we draw when. Okay, so is this going to be better or worse? Worse. All right. So undo that. And then swap the Y. Okay, that looks like that matches, except for the top. So, swap these, and we actually don't need to draw the bottom one. Or, actually, we don't need to draw the top one either, once we get this inside the thing. So, I won't even worry about this. But, yeah, okay, now it matches. So, we skip drawing the bottom and the top. Because once they're connected to the body, they won't be visible. Although that might not be, wait, why do I still see, oh, because I still have color face. I haven't actually fixed the winding yet. I forgot I left that on. Uh, it seems to be rotating backwards, which means the winding is backwards for all of them. Joy. Seven, six, four, five. Three, one, zero, six, seven, three, two, five, four, zero, one, seven, five, one, three, four, six, two, zero. <laughs> oh my gosh, so many immediate mode questions. Uh, and I broke something. I think. No, maybe not. Just looks funky. That seems to flash a lot while it's changing directions. It seems like it shouldn't flash that much. Okay, so let's go to slow mo and see what it looks like in slow mo. Oh, it's partly because it's the discontinuous pop there, but. I feel like maybe that vectors aren't aren't all normalized. But that one's normalized. Seems like all the vectors are normalized. They're normalized right there. I I don't know. I don't know why that's happening. Um I guess it's good enough. It looks weird to me, but either it's a bug that I don't understand or it's actually right. So let's not worry about it too much. So let's draw the other leg and then we'll actually finally get to doing the knees on the IK. Jesus, it's taking forever. Hour, hour 20. Left leg, right leg. 
Oops, I spelled it. Right left, right leg. Um, so then this has to be positive. Let's move it inside. Oh, what we wanted to know why it was too high. It's still too high. So I don't know that the center Z offset calculation is right. Oops. I thought I renamed everything. Oh, I didn't. Didn't change the foot name. So that's as expected. And um, why are those not at the base? So this whole computation must not be right. I kind of see the pants to that. So the position is where the feet are. And then we add center Z offset to get a center of rotation. So it's center Z offset above the feet is the center of rotation. So then we want TP torso base height above the ground but we need to convert to the coordinate space where this is the center. So this should be larger than, than that. TB torso base height is 1.4, center Z offset is 0 0.7. They're the same. Uh, is it coincidence that they're, or you know, one off by a factor of two? Is it a coincidence? No, because one is being computed from torso base height. Yes. That's not the center. That is not the center. That's the bottom of the. That's the bottom of the. Is that, but it is rotating around that. But that's the bottom of the torso, not the center of the torso. It's not even the bottom of the torso. If that's torso base height, what is going on? What is this code doing? I don't understand. So it's not rotating around the center. So when I moved the feet, I broke this. Um, so where do we want to actually set the position? The position actually wants to be set to the center of the torso. So where is the center of the torso? Um, okay, so the center, the um, center of the torso is TP torso base height plus half the size. But now this will just be positioned totally wrong. Yep. Okay, but it did look like the bottom was now in the right spot. But for the left leg, which I because I haven't fixed the right leg. Yep, it is. All right. So this math is correct. <coughs> All right. Um, so the old thing was just wrong because the torso base height is not actually the torso base height. But it's also drawing too tall now, so I need to figure out why that is. Right, because I should fit under here. Um,
Maybe I should use torso center height. Then it'll be a lot clearer what everything needs to do. Um, so the size is the height minus the torso base height. It seems correct, and yet it's drawing way too high. How can that happen? What do we draw for the main body? Size centered around position. Yep, we draw size centered around position. Size is that minus that. And position is supposed to be the center. How does that not work? What am I missing? Um, what am I missing? What am I not thinking of here? Stupid coordinate systems. Okay, why is the bottom so high? Let's answer that question first. T height 3.5, because torso base height is way too high. But why does that result in the total thing being drawn too high? Pause dot Z. Well, it's center Z offset plus size Z. Center Z offset 2.5, size Z over 2 is 1.05. So it should draw up to 3.5, which is correct. My logic is it should draw up to a height of 3.5 for the top of the torso. Well, it's not the torso, it includes the head now. Because um, it should take center Z offset, pause D, Z is where the feet are. Is it where the feet are? No, it's not. It's where the center is. Boom. Let's get rid of that. Of course, we were already passing that in. I'm not sure what that was for anymore. Bottom Z. Um, it's for deciding where the feet should go. Okay. Oops. Okay. Back down to what it should be. Now we just need to fix the right foot. Um, what's this? Yeah, okay, so it was the one it, way it should have been. All right, so now we've got the feet at the bottom. So we can move them back in. There should be like a skeleton properties for where to position all these things instead of doing it by hand. This is gonna leave a gap if you get at the right angle. Okay, so there we go. Oh, why do they just go sideways when I'm moving? They move forward, so it's not using the right angle. Uh, I either passed it in as the wrong axis or It doesn't happen this way, but this way they move to the side, and this way they move to the other side. So there's a consistent bias in the x direction when you tilt. It isn't being handled correctly. Um, does that mean I'm rotating the vectors in the wrong order? Maybe? Uh, where did I put that? I just up here somewhere? Or did I add it to vector? Where did I put vector rotate? The rotate vector. Oh, in world for no good reason. Do I need to do these in the other order? Because they're object space to world space, not the world space to object space. Yes, I do. Okay, and they don't the cylinders don't rotate, which is not correct. 
but it's because I'm doing the x the way I'm creating the x and y axes for them. All right. These are really short legs. So let's raise the bottom of the torso a little bit. Well, 1.4 is pretty high though. 3.5. Am I doing some math wrong? Is that actually 1.4 blocks high? Are those legs actually 1.4 blocks high? They are taller than a block. Yeah, I guess they are 1.4 high. Do they need to be higher or not? What's a real person look like? What does a human being look like? What the heck do you search for? Oh, they're almost halfway up. Maybe 40% up. So they're 3.5 high, and we go 0.4 up. It's 1.4. All right. It doesn't look right, but... <clears throat> All right, so now we want to put in some knees. Oh, let me check that in. Way. Is that our human? Because of the way I'm drawing that, I think that's going to be more reasonable. Now, of course, this will not even be visible because it'll just be um, left. Uh, it's just going to continue where it left off and probably not be visible at all. That's a weird behavior. Um, did I miss a right and a left somewhere in here? I left out the back lerp. No, I didn't. It's right there. I left out the draw cylinder. I changed the wrong thing. Back lerp, right knee, right foot. And this is supposed to be right knee. Okay. Okay, so you can't see the knees because they're in exactly the same spot. <clears throat> and so now we do the IK. Um, is there something I can do to make that visible? Yes, I can draw this one a little fatter and this one a little thinner. There we go. I really should make those legs rotate the right way. I don't know. It's kind of a cool, weird, blocky effect that the blocks stay aligned to the world. Maybe that'll be the distinctive art style aspect of this. 
So yeah, so this could be a robot because the whole thing is it needs to change lengths and so you see those as being sort of pistony things as a robot that's just automatically doing it. Um, of course, this whole tilt here just doesn't make any sense. I really do need to separate the head out because that's part of why the proportions still look wrong to me. It's because it doesn't turn into a head at the top. But let's try to do the IK. Okay, so here's what I always do when I want to do this kind of IK. It's to link IK. I'll paste the link in the chat. So what I always do is I take this code and I convert it into my vector library and just don't even think about how it works. Because he's solved it, he gives you the derivation if you care about it. And so I just need to copy it into my code. In fact, I ought to just have an STB. I could just have an STB IK. Oops, I, why did I move this off screen? Oh, in case there were secret libraries that people didn't know about. But um, yeah, I don't have um, I don't have this as a, a separate STB library, but I really probably should. Um, and he doesn't use a math library. I mean, he doesn't use a vector matrix library to do this. Oh, he does. He has a normal. Oh no, he has it right here. So yeah, rather than using my vector library, if I do this, I can just make this into an STB lib. So let's do that. Um, do I have a util? Yeah, I have a util. So. He has a solve function. Does it have any separate No, it doesn't. Okay, so this to be. Should I use doubles to get that extra precision? I don't think so. To link ik. Um, so we're gonna output matrix. Q is the solution. How does the return, I guess you access it out of the thing. Find an E position Q, and then what does this return? Oh, it's just a Boolean. So it returns an int, it solves Q, that's a matrix I'm pretty sure. Q declared double array doesn't say how long it is these that's how he does that's how you notate a, an array oh right this is just finding the point for the knee right it just returns a point it's float um, mid and then what do we take? We take two link joint from zero zero to n of vector p. These are not arrays. P. Okay. D. What is D here? Oh, D is the preferred direction, that's right. Float 
end. Um, because this is the API, we'll do this. Um, let's do it this way. So I don't have to be so narrow. Um, and for my q equals mid, p equals end, p equals meter. Mid bias, let's call it. Not it. So I'm trying to not be a knee because you can also use it for elbows and you can use it for totally unrelated things. Let's call it dir after all. And what are A and B? The lengths, these must be the lengths, right? Length, lengths, A and B. Let's float um, start to end len. Const float, uh, start to mid len, mid to end len. Um, if I call it end, should I call it start or begin? I guess I should call it begin. Begin end is normal pairing. And he does it assuming that you're at zero, zero and you uh, offset it yourself. So let's make that explicit. And then that's the API. Now let's rename the variables. That way I can match his code. Um, start P D these don't need to be const because they're just floats. Float A, float B. Okay. That seems to be the same as what he has. So now we can actually go in here and do the various other functions. So static Double oops float norm and this is K and that's just taking the norm. It's not normalizing. Which I call len. Um, return dot norm normalize static normalize Let's just use his convention so I don't get it wrong. You'll notice I'm retyping it all instead of cutting and pasting his code, even though it's going to be exactly the same. Um, just to give myself a little bit of calling this public domain. 
probably can't really call it public domain unless I really wrote it from scratch. I don't know. What's his license on it? I guess that's why I've never done this, is because he doesn't have a license on it, so I don't know um, what his intent was for that, and so I don't really want to put it in public domain because I copy it so closely. I guess that's why I've never done this. So maybe I can't do it. Maybe I'll just say it has the Ken Perlin license. M0 times B of 1 minus A1 times B of 0. Because, like, really, that is exactly the same. Rot float M9 float three. Oh, I've just been using raw. Oh wow, he puts the assignment at the end. I should probably convert that to my style. And then I'll screw that up and forget to change it. The other things, but. Destination's on left, buddy. Let's be consistent. Because um, I did that already for the API. Um. the entire math library. Then we have this helper function. Oops. I don't get that out anymore. Find D. right min a of that the smaller of those which means clamp that to be at most a find e Put it into the STB lib. It says it's a public class. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know what that means in Java. Um, whether that means you're allowed to inherit from it or whatever, but. I don't think it matters in any way. Um, okay, so find E, let's return square root, oh, so that should be a float. Square root of, where was it on my screen? There, I don't think I like to D. Boom, boom, boom. And then it's going to eventually use the define M. We gotta do define M first. Static void define M. Let's go ahead and add the camel case, convert the camel case to this instead of running it together. So define M is going to assign the internal M presumably. Maybe it's going to sign both of these. What's it going to do? mfood and mind. 
Where does it compute in, in I mean, it is passed in. No, it's not. Define m. I mean, it's not set up before that. How does that work? Where is mn coming from? Creates r, then calls define m. The very first thing it does is, oh, this is making these three point to those parts of it, and then it initializes x, initializes y. Okay, so. <clears throat> So let's just make those be three separate things explicitly. Do we ever use mInv again? No, m forward is copied out of mInv. So it does, I don't even know why that's global, why that why he, that's not a local to that function, because it never uses mInv again. It's just defined in this function and then used in this function. Okay. So in the end, what we're going to do is define m. The name says, and so uh, we're not going to const these. So we take, scroll this back up, take P and D. So then we have float x3, y3, z3. I equals zero, I was three, I equals P of I. Thanks. Dot X must be K dot. That's just a sub e scale if I were using my vector library. Um, you can see we're just computing some kind of coordinate system. Then we say cross. And we change the order of that. What was the other one I changed the order of besides cross? Rot. We haven't used rot yet. So that's S to be IK cross. And then we just copy those. Oh, notice how it's swapping. Interesting. For I equals zero. Ah, because it's doing a transpose. Okay. So M of I times three plus zero equals that's x and y. I believe this is what that code is doing. <clears throat> I could be wrong. I don't believe that's what it's doing. And then we just have to write this function. Okay, solve. Oh, we already have that declared. That's this. So let's change this to Q S E D. Actually, that's not. Let's do this. Float S equals float star S. Cast away the const so I don't have to worry about that. And then we define M and that will be M which we haven't declared yet. So we define M, we rotate. Is that what it's called? That's why I didn't all complete, I've got that. Destination. It's the last one. 
than these in the same order. Oh, it does use MN there. My bad. Um, call that N. I'll call it MN. And P and R. And P, okay. So then we have MN in. We have to pass that in. Let's use it. Float. And then we do the same thing he did. X equals m in zero, y equals m in plus three, plus six. <coughs> so we do the rot. We need t and e and s. <coughs> e equals find d. I think that's whether it violates the length constraints is what the return value is. But it still returns you something. Um, so we rotate M Q. No, not S. Return D zero. D zero. Do I have a D? No, it's not called D. Oh, I have two Ds, I see. Um, I'll let the B vector. Where do we use capital D to find M? I think that's the only one. All right, I think that's it. It's about 100 lines of code. Asterisks. Checking them, checking back in the chat. Oh, it's a public class with a public domain reference. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not that I take everything literally, it's that I lose the context, so I didn't know because of the Twitch delay and because of the delay in me looking at the chat. I just don't know, when people make comments, I usually don't know what they're in reference to. And I have to guess. All right. Min in, why did I start typing that? I have two S's, that's great. His code is so awesome. No wonder he was using capital and lower. Or did I, is that me? Why did I call one of these S? Oh, this is my origin, my start. Right, so this is my own naming. Um, I forgot to do that work. Okay, so. Here's what we want to do. We want to say float s, not float s, that's unchanged. Um, the direction doesn't change, so p is the only thing we have to do. p is p of zero minus start of zero, p of one minus start of one, p of two minus start of two. <coughs> We don't have an R. Where did R come from? Oh, we declared it. Norm. Hot. What did I call it? Normalize. 
No, len, right? Right, right, right. This is called len in my code. Normalize. Normalize, yes, it's len. Okay, right. All right, compiled. So let's put that into OBBG funks for now. And let's try to use it. So um that's in main left knee all right so now instead of lurping to compute the knee we want to do this oh wait we need to add it back let's start offset q of zero plus equal to start zero let's use the loop oh we don't have the loop variable in here we cut and paste it So now the only problem with this is if it's wrong, it's a pain in the ass to debug because, which is why I want to put it in the library. Um, because who knows when I screwed up? I don't understand the code, so it could be anything. All right, so we want to do stb to link ik of left knee of left leg top of left foot. And then we need the knee direction. So this is um, which direction the knee should push out. So it needs to push out in front. So we need the forward direction, um, which we can do by doing a rotate vector. Back forward, forward dot. And I said forward is in uh, is in that direction. Oh, and we could use this to make the cylinders draw in the right direction. So we just rotate vector forward with the same thing here. Okay, so I'm right, rotating more than one vector by this. So making the matrix would actually be better. But um, so that's the forward direction. And then the lengths. So how long are the legs? Um, what was the torso distance? 1.4. So they're each about 0.7. Um, let's make them just a little different. Begin to midline. Okay, I think that's all of it. So that just replaces our vet lerp. Actual parameter has type void. Oh. There we go. Then if he if he's on that step down it should extend way down yeah and it can't reach so the knee is not you know reasonable place because it can't reach all right so let's fix the right leg so it looks like it just worked i didn't have to debug it thank god despite all the random changes i was making just terrible. I need to reorganize this code. This is not me reorganizing this code. This is me hacking it to compile. Um, There we go. Doesn't really make any sense, the tilt to me, but I guess it needs to actually, 
The problem is it's tilting around the center of mass. I made all, did all this work to make it tilt around the center of mass, and that's not correct. It wants to actually tilt around the feet, I guess, because it wants to be leaning forward. It wants to shift its center of mass forward. So we actually want this rotation to be around the feet, which how do you even do that for this? We actually just need to push the position forward. Um, how do I want to do that? How can I do that? Um, how do I tilt the body? How do I change the center of rotation easily? I just can't use draw box because draw box is always going to rotate around the center. So, do we already have a modified version of this? It doesn't look like it. So draw box zero draw box uncentered. Voila. Now I have an uncentered one. <clears throat> so now the equivalent for this is negative size x over 2, negative size y over 2, negative size z over 2, size x over 2, size y over 2, size z over 2. So now that should be unchanged. Okay, that looks unchanged to me. Okay, so now we can change that to go from zero to the size of Z. And the position is plus size Z over two. Um, wait, that still puts the rotation in the same spot. Minus size Z over two. Because I've already centered that position. Yep, okay. Now it's leaning forward. It's rotating around the bottom of the torso, but I want to rotate around the feet. So for that, we have to push this even further. Uh, this is TP arrow torso base height. Um, actually, let's just not offset the position by that. Um, and so then this is to be on torso base height. I'm not sure what else will break when we're not offsetting the position, though. We don't need the center Z offset. That doesn't exist anymore. That should still be that for the size. And then where else did we use pause? Because now I've changed pause.z. OK, here. The What I need to do to fix that. Yep, all right, let's check. So 
all that work I did to figure that out was all irrelevant. Oh, no, I screwed something up. But is it rotating around the feet? It looks like it's rotating around the feet to me. Right, the front, the bottom front of the torso is now moving forward, and it didn't used to. It used to just rotate. All right, so I just have to fix the, the height. Um, oh, right, because it's shrinking the size. I'm just using size.z. Yep, that's what we want. Yep, okay. All right, that's back to how it was. And it leans forward. Not a very realistic lean forward, but makes way more sense than it did before. Probably should lean forward faster. Maybe not. I don't know. All right. I'm done with you. that info now and we can close that realistically the tilt indicates acceleration not speed I don't think that's actually true um, you're shifting your weight forward based on your speed um, once you're running at a stable fixed velocity you still are leaning forward uh, you don't run straight upright. It may be that it, the, it should not be 100% synced to speed. I see. Okay, there's a follow-up message. It should tilt while accelerating, but once it reaches constant speed, the tilt should decrease, not completely, but it should be noticeable. That probably makes sense. Um, we can do that. The angle is not coupled to, is not, nothing relies on the angle. Um, like the angle is just computed from the velocity currently. So that can be a to do um, to make that more realistic. And we don't have to do it this instant, though. Uh, 13 fix body tilt to uh, tilt more while accelerating. Do you lean when you're in a vehicle? Um, no, because instead of using leaning to keep from falling, you have a seat behind you that keeps you from falling. If you're on a motorcycle, you lean forward. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I understand what your point is there. In a motorcycle, uh, if you didn't have the air blowing on you, you would be able to sit upright because it's a fixed reference frame. So uh, there's no reason to tilt. But the way running works is that you're constantly falling onto your feet. So you intentionally want your body to be ahead of your, uh, your you want your center of mass to be ahead of your planted foot. And so you lean to accomplish that. I mean, the right thing to do is pull up. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, right thing to do is pull up a video and look at it. But hang on a second.
I thought I had a reference book for this, but I must have gotten rid of it in the great purge I did last year or six months ago or whatever. Yes, I'm not going to start running it from the camera. I will just bring up video if I care about it. But like I said, I think it's a low priority to get all those tweaks correct. Um, all right, so I, I want to make the skeleton more realistic so that things don't look so weird. It's too confusing. Um, so... Uh, We did IK likes to foot. So let's move the head. Let's draw the head. Um, that's because we now have this draw cylinder stuff as well. But um, so we can draw another box. And it'll be. Where is size coming from, by the way? Let's not multiply by two and then divide it by two. In fact, we can Wait, why is that not why did that compile? TP half size X, TP half size Y, TP half size X, and we should probably actually switch this to torso size, because these sizes are, were the abstract physics sizes. Um, there's still a size in here somewhere. Oh, TP arrow height. Okay, so now we want to make it less tall, then we want to draw another one, and it's going to go all the way up to height, and it's going to start at height minus f, and the head is going to be, I don't know how big, let's do this. That's way too small, I think. There's the whole heads head size rule that unfortunately that artists have that I don't have memorized um, I guess I could google for that Artists use an exaggerated thing, so we'll go with this Wikipedia 7.5 heads. Yeah. Okay, so um, float head 
height is over 7.5. We'll subtract out the head height, although, of course, there's actually the neck. And then we subtract the head height. Um, and then the torso. Yeah, so we start needing the skeleton proportions here. So let's go ahead and type def struct skeleton size. Um, so the head goes forward. I wonder if I should do the head as two boxes rather than one box. as proportions um, let's just make these consistent Make sense to work from bottom up, determine position of feet, then knees, then midriff. Um, yes, but uh, not the way we're doing the animation system where we start with a physics representation that is the whole body. Um, <clears throat> we know where the body center of mass is, and we kind of have to obey that, and then we'll, we'll cheat it where we have to. Um, I mean, yes, in the sense in, in the sense that you're talking about, that is what will have to happen in the long run. The torso will have to be positioned properly, and the way we'll adjust the torso is based on where the feet are. <coughs> but uh, it doesn't necessarily make sense to go in that order in, in implementing it. Um, we can allow the legs to stretch like they are right now and still try to get everything else right. that in sync, unfortunately. So then the head, these are going to be proportions. So um, let's actually just leave that out and do this. So they, they have to be normalized, basically. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's require normalizing. All right, so um, let's do everything out of 100. So 1 75th times 100 is 13.3. So that's the head Z. like the head Y is about the same. And then the head X is a little smaller, not positive. And then the torso. It's about there. Looks to be a third. Looks like that is actually at about 50% at that point right there. 
the, where the joint is. And width will be a full width. Oh, so wait, so are those widths in a different unit? They are. Uh, so I actually want the widths in the same unit. So the width is what, three heads wide? A little less, two heads wide. We'll see, we'll tweak it. Doesn't have to be perfect anyway. And then the depth is a little deeper than the head. Something like that. And then I guess we can just make these decimals. I have to put all the Fs in, that's the annoying part. So these are all relative to the height. Shape this K. And then there's still how to position them, but we'll come back to that. Um, like all the IK wants to be relative to the torso, so you have to figure out where the torso goes and then which will depend on the way the feet are, and then do everything relative to the torso. Um, but this is all still kind of hacky because it's ground distance is not based on where the torso is, but that's fine. We're just trying to get it working. Um, why is this curly braces not matched? Did I start to change this? Yeah, I did. It should all be hype. Of course, that's just a vector scale. Oh, but this isn't in a vector. These aren't TPs, these are just plain because I just computed it. And they need to be over two. Zero heights. So this will leave the head centered. I need to push the center head off center. But
and then the torso base height needs to be adjusted to be based on the torso Z. And then that means this stuff is going to be computed wrong because it's not using these things. It's still using torso base height. Okay, I don't think I got that right. Um, that should be drawing all the way up to TP height. TP height should be 3.5. Three point five, and then one point four is actually less than half. It's going to push that up to one half. That'll make it even smaller with this bug, I think. Uh, and this is wrong because the critter is only two point five tall, so we want to make this be one point two five. Um. It's a little bit bigger than one third. Meh. No, because we said that point should be halfway. So then that plus the neck. So what's the neck height? Well, well let's just make that a neck thing as well. About half the width. more than half. The height is very skinny. Maybe a quarter of the head height. What's the height? Wait, what's the oh it'll be a square. Okay, so then these three need to add up to 0.5. It does, okay. <clears throat> and minus neck dot C as well. Um, the other way.
missed by draw box on centered head height. Um, yeah. Except no, now the feet are up too high, but the body proportion does seem better. So what happened to the feet? Oh, because I haven't adjusted that to use any of this stuff. Um, although that should still be 0 0.5 using the old thing, it should still be, is that, what is half of that? 3.5, 1.75, yeah. So I'm not sure why that gets the height wrong but maybe the logic's just wrong now. Um, so the left leg top, so let's do this. Float torso bottom, torso top. Torso top equals T height minus head Z minus neck Z. Torso bottom equals torso top minus torso Z. Head top equals T height. Head bottom equals TP equals head top minus head. Neck top equals head bottom neck and bottom equals neck top minus neck z torso top equals head so this is the thing you were saying about build from the bottom up except i'm going top down and i'm going to have to change it all to be bottom up eventually relative to the torso position at some point um, that's neck bottom minus nothing and then use that stuff here Torso bottom, torso top, head bottom, head top. Sure, I buy that. It's just the like positions are still wrong, and therefore, because the like positions are wrong, the IK is gone as well. Um, why are the like positions wrong? Right, because this now needs to be torso bottom. That was the whole reason I did that, was to make it all clear and consistent. There we go. And now we gotta get the left right positions correct. So this is torso X over two. Minus. And 
of course these are not normalized. There we go. Um, that's not right. They're supposed to be exactly lined up, and they're not exactly lined up. So the torso width. Where do we draw the torso? The torso width is torso x over 2. So we take torso x over 2. Oh, these are radiuses, not widths. Yep, there we go. Now its foot placement is too wide. And the legs aren't long enough. Because I made the things longer. So the legs need to be... Um, because I'm not moving the torso down, I'm going to make the legs longer than they should be. So 0.3 f, 0.3 f, float upper leg length, lower leg length, um, relative absolute. We'll fix the absoluteness of those at some point. And so where do we do that? We do that here. Boom, these. Sk arrow, lower upper first, or leg length times tp height, let's get lower leg length times tp height, copy this down, they used to add up to 1.4, now it'll add up to 1.6 or something like that, which give them a little bit of bend, yep, okay, all right, so the legs are too long, that's expected, they need to be exactly the right length when you're standing still and then move the torso down when you're running. The question is if I set them both to 2.25 is it exactly the right length? It should be and I don't think it is. Oops, I hit the wrong button again. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I don't think if I set these to 2.25 it's going to be exactly the correct length. So I still have a bug of some sort. Something is miscomputed. Um, what would my bug be? What would my bug be? Let's not make the speed dependent on the tilt. That's been in there for ages. Where do we compute the speed? Maybe world? Oh, no, in it's in physics. We compute the desired speed here, don't we? Where? I don't see it. Where do we compute the desired speed? Oh, we must do that externally. Yep, here's where we do it. Where do we adjust for the tilt? <coughs> going uphill and stuff it should do stuff different but okay now it does not slow down when you tilt Good. sidestepping makes no sense that's fine I mean it is actually making sense part of it but 
uh, not the upward movement, but at least the foot planing is reasonable. All right, so wait, so do the widths match now? Yeah, they do. I forget what was the thing I was working on. Oh, right, trying to figure out why the legs aren't straight. Why is the leg length not correct? So the legs add up to 0.5. This adds up to almost 0.5. So they should meet. The available space for the legs should be 0.5 and the legs should be the legs should be 0.5. Let's break in here and see what's going on. So each of them is 3.5 times 0 0.5, 0 0.875 long. And then where is left leg top, torso bottom? 1.785. What did I just say it was? Yeah, the total leg length should be shorter than torso bottom. <coughs> It's obviously not. Um, this is in relative coordinates, though, so it's confusing. Maybe they are going straight, and I just don't see that they're going straight. Oops. No, they've got a little bend. Why do they have a little bend? They should not have a little bend. Um, what am I missing? This also includes it probably needs to be data driven, so it looks so it's more coherent. Got body parts at various locations and and stuff. The feet shouldn't be centered. Need to fix that. The head shouldn't be centered. Need to fix that. See, what's the neck? The neck is 0.5. So, what's the difference between it and the neck? 0.8. So, it should offset by 0.4, I think. And then the feet, I don't know how big the feet are. Feet are in absolute currently. Feet. 2.4.1. So 0.4 is the long side, 0.2 is the short side, so we want to offset them by 0.2. Feet forward offset. But those are using a centered box currently, right? So now we have to change that to negative 0.1. Let's 
Let's add the, the forward offset, which is in the y axis. Forward offset. Oh, I could have just done that directly. Let's leave it. Let's leave it the way it was. We just have to do that here. Let's get a feet forward offset. And we can change them to uncentered later, but. <coughs> <coughs> oh no, right, the reason is because the rotation, no, that's okay, that just does the same thing. Uh, and then the head, um, float head offset, head offset forward. Perhaps a little too far forward. Um, no, let's go up to the the chest. So let's make the head a little bit shallower, and then head forward offset smaller. Still too far forward. I wonder if I'm changing the wrong variable or something. Nope, okay. Still too far forward. I guess the problem is that the torso shouldn't actually. The neck versus torso probably isn't right either. Or is the torso just too thick? Yeah, the neck is a little off center. And I guess I included the arm position when I tried to estimate the torso thickness. It's probably too skinny. But it's one big block, so it's really kind of confusing since that's not really what a torso is. All right, good enough. Doesn't have to be perfect right now. All right, so why are the leg lengths not correct? Back to that. What am I missing? <clears throat> Left leg top, torso bottom, and we rotate that into the space, but we're not tilted, so it shouldn't change anything. Then we add that relative to pause. So we want to look at uh, we want to force them into the planted state. Wait, oh, I scrolled right by it. What am I doing? So we want to force this. So now the right foot should be stay planted. Oh, except yeah, that doesn't uh, doesn't really do the right thing. Um, just replant the foot every frame. All right. Oh, it is straight now. No, it's not straight. Okay, let's see. So now I can break in there and look at the right foot. Okay, torso bottom 1.785, and then right leg top 1.785. Okay, so the top is at the right spot. 
Now it should have to cover 1.785. Right leg top dot z minus right foot dot z. That's shorter. Why is that shorter? Oh, because we the foot is up above the ground a little bit because the foot has height. <sighs> Where do we do that? Where do we compute the foot plant? Aha, uh -huh, we have that. No, that's not the Z. Where's the Z? It's that. I think. X, Y. That's X. That's the sideways. Y is the thing. Oh, Y right. And Y left. Yeah, those aren't the heights. It's Z left and Z right. Okay, here it is. This is 0 0.5. So we need to compensate for that in the leg lengths. So zero point oh five over three point five. 0.015. So the leg lengths need to be shorter by that much. And then maybe they'll be straight. That's good. Now I have to move the torso down to fix that, that straightness. Um, and we'll do the hack that we had in before, which is make the legs a little bit longer so that they articulate rather than fixing the torso yet. Um, and then we want to disable this planting. All right, so now I think I understand what's going on. And so we can put, we could either do the arms that the Luger 2 demo has that just swing and don't accomplish anything, or we could do something else. Wow, those legs have a lot of reach. I barely, I thought I barely increased them. Went from 2.5 to 2.8. Crazy how much play that gives them. Should it be a longer stride now? When running? Oh, I got wedged. Okay, there we go. Does this work with multiplayer? There is some multiplayer support, but I didn't really have anything to show in the multiplayer, so I stopped working on it and moved on to other things. Uh, but now, the, one of the things this is for is, in first person, you won't ever see this, but 
it lets us put the AI creatures have the same animation and it'll let us have multiplayer have the same animation. So that's definitely one of the goals. Um, okay, so back to our list. Draw a separate head. So we have a bunch of stuff to do with the feet. We have repositioning the torso. So yeah, making the feet continuous. I don't know, it's actually interesting that even though the feet aren't continuous, once you put the legs in, somehow it's more tolerable. Right, like that is, they're actually not continuous. They're popping still there. Well, downhill is totally broken. We know that, so let's not do that. Let's go back to the flat running case. Here you can see how it's popping. The torso is moving smoothly because the torso is being drawn where the center of mass is and we made the center of mass move up smoothly. Um, but it should actually probably just be driven by where the feet are. And obviously the feet, the knees going through the, the ground is due to the feet placement not actually targeting the feet placement. So that's what the compute the foot placement ahead of time is for is to make those have to will make those things actually step up. Um, so that those are the two big things about the feet placement is that they're actually discontinuous and um, and planning the foot placement ahead of time. And then avoiding the leg stretch will obviously be uh, So we could fix that maybe. Don't stretch the legs because we actually get a thing here where we return a Boolean from this. So if that fails, couldn't reach foot position. Then we can compute a new foot position based on what we could reach. Um, which is um, we want to alert from it's actually an extrapolate instead of an interpolate. I'm going to go from the left leg to the left knee. We're going to keep going in that direction out to where the left foot is. So what's the interpolation amount for that? It is A upper leg length. We want the total leg length divided by just the upper leg length. I think that'll work. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it seemed to. Right, while he was falling, it didn't seem to be stretched. So let's go to slow mo. Step up, and then step down. Step up won't be affected, I don't think. So that was never at the limits. Go ahead and step up again, and now let's step down. So now it won't extend all the way down. hard to tell what's going on. Oh, I see. They're planting into midair, and you couldn't really see that because there's no shadows. Um, let's go up this hill so we can run downhill a lot. All right. I wish I could see the feet better. All right. Yeah, 
so they're planting in midair and they should just stop planting they should flail or something probably well they should just see they should anticipate where their next plant point is even though it's way down i guess it needs to switch to a, like a jump pose or something but <clears throat> All right, so yeah, that avoids legs from stretching. That was trivial. Stretching legs, uh, and then we can do we can do the Luger two style arms. I mentioned that. So what do we think? Foot discontinuity. Um, <coughs> um, foot discontinuity, torso adjust. Um, what's the problem on the uphill? That's from foot discontinuity, but it's from not plan planning, planning the foot placement. Um, So let's put planning. I guess let's just call that put placement. Let's put this into a structured thing. that these are that part of the torso okay there we go so now it's a nice structured list um nobody had any opinion on what i should do The way this will work in multiplayer, by the way, all of the animation here is driven by um, a physics that just treats the object, well, not literally a sphere, but basically like a sphere. Um, in the Luger 2 demo, it's a sphere. And uh, just f computes some animation that is consistent with that position and velocity. So we'll just do the same thing networked. It won't actually network the animation. It'll just, on every machine, compute an animation that's consistent with the positions. So it might look different on different machines. So if that mattered for gameplay, if like where in your pose you were mattered for gameplay, like you're being shot at and hitting your limbs um, mattered, we'd have to um, we'd have to actually pay more attention to that. But I think even in that case, I think it's okay. <coughs> if you're trying to hit a limb that's moving, you know, if you're trying to shoot a limb that's moving it's and the limb is in a different place and you miss, 
how you're going to know. Like if you had slow mo, you could consistently hit a limb, but you in multiplayer you can't do slow mo. So <clears throat> I guess if you had enemies that moved really slowly, so they were effectively slow mo, um, that could matter. <coughs> oh, and. Uh, to do per biped state. So another thing we could do is actually hook this up to the AIs right now. We can try to make the AIs uh, have this stuff. Like one of those used player ID, even though it's supposed to be passed in.
Mm. All right. Let's see if that works. All right. Now let's find where we draw the AIs. Critter else that render biped. I'll use a buffer dump position. Is that offset? No, it is not. P. Bottom Z, we don't have a smooth bottom Z. So we can't. Uh, now, I don't remember if they set their angles or not. Nope, they don't turn. <laughs> smaller, which is expected. Um, let's make them just a little taller, but they can fit in places we can't fit, so we can't make them too much taller. And then we want to make them, while they're path following, they need to uh, so AI, did I ever make an AI.c? AI, I did not. So the AI is still in world. Path follow, what did I call it? Path follow, no. Path find, AI tick. So when he changes to a new direction, when he sets his velocity, boom. We want to, oh, arrow ang.z equals atan2. Oh, arrow velocity dot y. Oh, arrow velocity dot x. But those might actually need to be reversed because uh, because I'm using the y forward system. So may, maybe need to rotate that. They do not seem to be turning at all. No, they ain't turning at all. What did I do wrong here? That is where they pick a new direction. Velocity y and velocity x are correct. Oh, because that's in that's in radians, and I'm storing. Storing them in degrees for compatibility with GL. Okay, now they're turning sideways from where they're actually going by 90 degrees because of the thing I just said. So do I just need to swap them or do I need to get, negate one also? I probably have to negate one also. Wait, those ones are correct, and that one is side. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna get one of them. I guess it's Y. Nope, now they're just going backwards the whole way. Uh, well, wait, if that were true, then I should just have to. No, I see. I have to negate both. Right, yeah, yeah.
All right, looking good. Did you didn't you make pathfinding look for paths only two blocks high? No, it looks for paths that are as tall as whatever the thing, the size of the physics object of being path found. So these guys are three units tall, so they can fit. Uh, so I and I'm four units tall, so I can't fit under this, but they can. But I can fit under this. So then if I put them on the other side of this and tell them to come to me, they should be able to go under. Yep. Voila. Okay. So uh, that did that. Git commit dash A make animation um, store animation state in biped structure allow AIs to use bipeds. Okay. Um, it's amazing we get the exact same comments every time when people come in. Yes, they do. And we have a giant list of things that we have to get through before they look correct. Um, we've already gotten through a fair number of things on the list. So I just did that. Um, so I haven't been leaving this up. I don't need my proportions anymore. Uh, done in today's stream. IK, better skeleton, well, better model. Um, well, since the foot placement discontinuity isn't that noticeable. I guess we'll not worry about it. This is an optimization, um, so it's not high priority yet. <coughs> so I guess we can get people to stop complaining about the standing still not existing. So int. So do you just dynamically compute what state you're in based on your velocity? Or do you want it to be a stateful thing that you set and unset? Um, let's change this animation state. animation phase let's, let's actually do that <coughs> all right and we can take out the word animation because it's part of a structure that's the animation so we let's redundant so animation phase becomes phase and then we can have a state that I'm not sure whether it needs to be stateful or not. Let's move the skeleton definition up to where we define the biped animation state. Um, so we can have an int state. Um, 
So then what's the uh, what's the phase currently? So it's currently in units of radians, which is probably a little weird. Okay, here's where we compute the speed. 20. It's a hard-coded 20. Um, We do have SK. Why did it not autocomplete my SK? So it's not really cycle period because it's 20. Okay, so if we have a delta T and then we have a period, we want to divide it by the period and then multiply by 2 times m pi. And then the cycle period is state. So we're going to have about 6 divided by period has to come out to 20. So that's a period of about 0.3. Right, right, because that was that. So what is an actual running phase like? Like how long does it take between placing the right foot each time? One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three. Maybe two per second. Maybe less than that. So stopped zero. I don't divide by zero though. Um walking. I don't know. I have any good idea. Let's just do that to start with. Um, and so then animation DT. Okay, that's, that's it. If the A state does not equal gate stopped, then we can update our phase. Let's just have a bowl stopped. Stopped. Equals gate stopped. So we don't have to keep checking that multiple places. If stopped, we do that. Otherwise, we'll do something else. So if we're stopped, we don't want to update the feet planting at all. So we just let the feet planting be whatever they are. <coughs> that was dumb. Okay. Well, maybe you don't need to keep checking stop because that's all isolated there. So then We'll just do a dumb thing to start with. BA state equals mag three equals zero. Um, um, get nothing stopped. Gate not state. That should be not equal. Okay. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. It did weird things while it was falling. because it left the feet planted and let the feet stay where they were. 
Now this, I guess I just got these times wrong. I didn't do the math right when I was trying to reconstruct the math. It used to be times 20. It's now times 6 divided by cycle period, which needs to be about 0.3 to get the old speed. Oh, and we set it to, did we set it to running or walking? We set it to walking, that's why I was doing the walking pace. Um, all right, so let's see what that looks like. And probably that walking pace is too slow, but. All right, seems reasonable. And then it doesn't stop. Okay, so why does that not stop? Stopped. Mag zero. Oh, greater than equals zero. Now, of course, if you're moving really slowly, we don't want the feet to stay planted, so it actually needs to, yeah. All right, there you go. Now they stop. They go through a dumb state while they're falling, but that's fine. If, they're, if you're falling straight down, you go through a dumb state. So we need a free fall state as well. I threw them in the wrong direction because I wasn't facing forward. And now they can't get to me. They're all jammed. Their feet are too wide. I should fix that. Um, Didn't you make the path pointing look for... Oh, that was the old one. Sorry. Lost my position there. Wait, that one was negative, right? Nope, okay. That's negative, that's negative, that's positive, that's positive. This is positive. Okay, that seems right. Oh, yeah, I do have to add that. Okay, how wide should the feet be spaced? They want to be under the torso torso is 0 0.20 wide so zero point it's the center of the legs like that nope why are they off center I got something wrong one of those is negated incorrectly right foot is positive, the left foot is negative, the left foot is negative, the right foot is positive. Oh, crap. I don't get actual useful data here. So I didn't commit between those. Um, if I undo it, Back to what it was. OK. 
Okay, save it. Get commit. Um, what have I changed at this point? All right. Okay, gates. And gate handling. Stop. Stopped. Now I'll redo all the stuff I just undid. Okay, and now get diff. <clears throat> foot spacing. SK foot spacing times TP height over 2. 0.35 change to foot spacing. 0.35 change to foot spacing, negative 0.35. These all look like they're on the right, they're the correct side in this. All right, well, let's just change it to 0.35. Check whether it still looks the same or not. Yeah, I think that's about the same as it was. Okay, so why is it when I made it smaller, it blew up? Well, it didn't blow up, it just became inconsistent. Yeah, it's popping in a weirder way. Ah, I know, because the foot search isn't using it. Foot search, foot search, foot search. Find foot placement, poly, boom, right there, this. Spacing. Foot spacing plus Oh, I don't need to use, uh, it's minus actually. I don't need to use the Fs in this file. Foot spacing plus 0.2. It's not quite the same as what it was, but whatever. too tight. Wait, is that because I left it as 0.25 hard coded? Foot spacing, no, I didn't leave it hard coded. Right. Not perfect, but good enough. All right, so walking, running states with different gates. We still have a lot of cleanup to do here. We need to actually find a good foot position when stopping, which is this. <coughs> so the moment we see that we're stopping, We want to compute new foot placements and animate to them, but we don't already have the idea of <coughs> we don't already have the idea of um, of computing a foot placement once and reusing it. So we actually to implement stopping correctly, we actually need the foot placement improvements. 
So we actually have to do this stuff first. So maybe I'll put in the arm animation. No, that's a bunch of work. That's just busy work. Maybe I'll stop. Three and 45. Three hours and 45 minutes. Yeah, I think I'll stop now. I think we'll stop there. Uh, so go ahead, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. Um, I may have broken that. Let me fix that again. So that was these. So I made those match. What did I call it? Gate cycle period. Takes gate. Gate is index zero one. Should be okay. it oh, what else did we do in today's stream we better model we let me look at the git log it. Not that I expect anyone to actually use it, but that's fine. <clears throat> and nobody has asked any questions. So I can give you another 30 seconds or so. 22 notifications. It's because I was in a little argument when I stopped when I started this. What was your criteria for taking that particular IK solver? It's closed forms. It's not iterative. It doesn't have to solve. It always solves exactly the same way. It's not position dependent. It's very simple code. Um, so I just, oh, I always use that. I've never done real IK. I just always do two link IK. You can almost always do that for human body stuff. Like if you want to do fingers, um, you probably can solve for a hand position independently and say, here's where I want the hand to be. Um, uh, it does not, this I can't solve for, doesn't allow for orientation of the end effector. Um, so you, your hand has to have a flexible joint. Like the fact that your um, whole arm rotates around this, uh, you, it, you would ignore that and make that be part of a hand rotation. And if you want, after the solve, you can propagate it back out to the arm. But that's what's kind of a separate thing, because the arm actually is the sword twist. It's a weird thing. Anyway, the point is, if you solve for a hand position, and not really the hand position, but this the position of this joint. So you can move this two-link IK system from the shoulder to here, based on the solve for where you want that to be. And then that, you can do like a two-link IK for... like maybe you can figure out the hand orientation natively and then treat the uh, fingers as two instead of three 
and use the two link IK for the fingers. And so you would be able to actually do um, solve this full thing, including the fingers by splitting those out and doing this cheat where you have to have some logic for where to put the hand. Whereas a full IK system could potentially try to solve all of that at once. Um, as soon as you have more than two links, it's not closed form. As soon as you have three links, you need an iterative solver. Um, and so we just stick with two link cases and that makes our life a lot easier. Would the code have to change much in order to support keyframes like an overgrowth? I don't think so. But like I said at the beginning, I do think the overgrowth system works in a very different fashion. So it starts from a very different starting point. Um, but I think it ends up in a place that's not that far removed. Um, because he's still is doing IK for the feet. And most of what we spend our time here on was the IK solving. So you would take a keyframe, do the keyframe animation for which it, it's totally new code. It doesn't exist here. You'd have to write it all. Um, but most of what we used here, wrote here can still be used because most of what we wrote here is solving the foot and knee placement, um, which you still want to layer over top of the keyframing. You still want to fix the feet and potentially the hands. Um, so it would be possible. I don't plan to do it uh, because I don't have a tool for editing keyframes. Um, and I, the model is purely procedural, so I don't even have the skeleton exported in a form that can do it. So I, And I don't plan on trying to do that. I don't plan on trying to find such a tool or write one. I figure I'll just leave it in this sort of procedural style because they're going to be blocky models anyway, so I don't think it's going to... It, it, this may be overkill even. It may be better to go with sort of the Minecraft... Does Minecraft not have the knee joints? I don't remember. I think it doesn't. Uh, I'm trying to remember what um, Ace of Spades did. Oh, this is the advanced Ace of Spades, not the original Ace of Spades. Ugh, it's so, uh, so busy, it's hard to tell what's going on. Classic Ace of Spades? What do you, what do you call that? Well, yeah, those have jointed arms and jointed knees, they do. Okay, yeah, there's the... Yeah, okay, so they do have jointed limbs. All right, it's not third person, so it's hard to, here we go. Yeah, a much more cartoony shape too. Um, I don't remember why was I looking at Ace of Spades. I think we were talking about the keyframes and overgrowth or whatever. And I was saying I probably would never do that and just do procedural animation. Okay, yeah. So it was just a question of whether that stuff already existed in Minecraft. And I decided to look at Ace of Spades instead of Minecraft, because who cares about Minecraft? <clears throat> Any other questions? get stuck above them is insane. So you can see how they all snap to the grid pretty obviously here. That's something I'd still like to tweak so that they don't stay on the grid.
So you can see we're pathfinding a lot of guys and it's not a big speed hit. It glitches a little bit when I do it because it is doing them all in the same frame. But it's not too terrible. <clears throat> yeah, I don't want you to, I know you're joking, but I don't want you to start UV mapping them, I mean, to start texturing them until the final proportions are decided, uh, which I should probably get an artist to do, really, instead of trying to just sit here and do it by typing numbers in, but. What sort of work would be required at a high level to port this game to Mac or Linux? It's written using SDL. Um, and so there is a Linux port, but I don't know if it's still up to date. Um, it's probably not. And uh, the Mac issue is going to be the OpenGL support on the Macs because I'm using a compatibility context and, and also using advanced features and the Mac does not have a compatibility context. Uh, it has old OpenGL and new OpenGL and not a com com combination of both. So, um, I don't know what a good solution to that problem is because I'm pretty freely intermixing them. You pretty much need something like Regal or some other way of um, supporting the compatibility mode, I think. And I don't know anything about Regal. I just know it exists. Oh no, they're all coming to get me. Ha! Huh. You don't get me. <laughs> uh, one of them always has their legs forward, so you can't tell that they're animating at all. Is the up-down motion of the feet also IK or a curve keyframes? It's neither. It's, um, I mean, it is a curve. It's following a, an ellipse. That's it's on the to-do list to fix that, to use IK and move it between the various positions. I mean, it's still IK. The uh, the feet. So the feet are never IK. The IK is of the knees. So the foot placement um, is just computed abstractly without any concern for the shape of the skeleton. And then the knee is placed to connect the foot to the torso. So um, the positioning of the feet is just pure code. It's this ellipse here. This computes a position on a circle, and then this computes a position on a, an ellipse. And like I said, I want to fix that. That's on the to-do list. animate foot from between the two placement positions and the halfway point instead of just having them follow that ellipse. Why does it look like I can see the neck through the head? Are some normals flipped? That's a good question. I can't see the neck through the head. I guess that was with some of the creatures or something. I definitely don't see it for me. All right, gotta be facing forward when I do that. It looks all correct to me. There's a little maybe an optical illusion of, of the neck showing through. But I think it's correct. The thing is they're all the same color. The, all the boxes are the same colors on the sides because they're all facing the same way. Oh, the targeting dot, yeah. Yeah, that is the, the targeting dot. 
I should probably turn that off in third person as well. Since I added that to the UI, I can. It's a UI 2D. Is that this right here? Seems likely. Yep, it's gone now. Why is the bottom of the foot not green colored? Am I handling the ambient incorrect? Is the ambient color gray instead of green? I think it is. Yeah, that's right. There's a separate color for ambient in the OpenGL lane system for some reason. Makes no sense at all. All right. All right so I, that's all the questions. So I'm going to stop there. Uh, and if you get a last minute question in, I'll answer in chat rather than the thing. But other than that, that is the end for our stream and I will thank you for watching and I will see you next time if you show up. Bye bye.